Um, welcome to um, interview number one for Mr. Tibet, North America, 2011. Hi, Mr. Tibet is Okay, uh, so Jayala, what made you decide uh, uh, joining Mr. Tibet, uh, uh, North America, 2011? There's a couple of reasons, but uh, I never thought I would be participating in Mr. Tibet. Uh, but I always desire to be in fitness competition. Uh, last year, I met myself that I want I want to be Mr. Tibet, and I made serious effort to in working out, and I want to bring it to next level. And the second reason is uh, I hope to all I hope to inspire all all of Tibetans to achieve their goal. And no matter what, no matter what, how, how, how impossible it seems. Um, so, Jayala, can you tell us something about yourself that people don't know? About me is, uh, there's a lot of things a lot of people don't know about me, but uh, I like to tell one thing. I mean, I'm good, I'm very good at sh uh, cooking, and I'm good shape. The uh, reason I'm good shape is, I've always been myself. And ever since I came to USA, it's been seven to eight years, and I cook myself, everything I do by myself. So I cook anything in Indian, Tibetan, American. So this is Melinda Rohan. This so is Melinda Rohan. This is Melinda Rohan. So what, what's your, uh, um, your favorite uh, dish? My favorite dish is Japanese, but uh, I can't cook. I always wanted to be cook, but uh, I'm I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, good luck with that. Um, Thank you. Can you tell us a uh, uh, an, an, an funny incident that happened to you in your life? Funny incidents. Uh, there was there was in the gym uh, when I was uh, running on the treadmill and I fought. That was the funniest. Okay, so you farted on the treadmill while you were running. Well, it wasn't loud, but it's like. <laughs> I know, I know, I know how it works. Um, so, um, were there a lot of people around you when you were, when you farted? You know, in the gym, you know, but uh, I have been in a private gym, but since so not so many people, doing? there's a couple of girls, you know. Let me jump to the next question. Um, tell us an embarrassing moment in your life. Embarrassing, wow, you took me back. Uh, embarrassing. Uh, I want to say in Tibetan, Nemandu. Uh, Laptop, laptop, Team leader D, uh, not a uh, ISU students in point to the general in the world. I think, uh, my Tamatan was I read, I was in my mail. I in a morgue, I was a guest, I mean, I was a madam, you may mail at the world and me, and only get some more, uh, Seratomos and more, and so digging it more is, and I'm more sure they want a mail at Matons, and a stage than I need point to the world. Okay, um, can you tell us a moment when you felt proud to be a Tibetan? Felt proud to be Tibet. A moment. I'm uh, always proud to be Tibet, but a moment proud to be Tibet. Uh, that was uh, 20 years ago. So I was what? Uh, the, I was I watched a, in a video and Dalai Lama receiving a Nobel Peace Prize. That was my moment, but uh, my best moment. That was a moment I'm proud to proud to be that. <coughs> okay. Um, do you have a message for the people? Yes, I have definitely have a message. I want to say all Tibetans to uh, say that live healthy and be happy in life. Do what you can do, and that's it. Okay.
Thank you so much, uh, Jayala, and I uh, wish you the best of luck for uh, Mr. Tibet North America 2011. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching me.